So they're thinking cheap. They're right. definitely thinking cheap. Um, and they're thinking, you know, well, you know, this is just a guy that's, you know, driving around in his truck or whatever. It doesn't give them, doesn't give the right customer security. Hey, 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 Plenty Pros, welcome to the 406th episode of Potty Talk. Hey, in case you've forgotten, I'm Richard Bainey, the <laughs> Million Dollar Plumber. I did Along forget. with the lovely Laura. <laughs> all right. Hey, we have a fun episode. Mm -hmm. they're, all, they're all fun. I think they're all fun. <laughs> let's, all right. let's sometime do a really stupid, non-fun episode. Okay. All right. <laughs> but this is not a non, this is not a... Stupid, non-fun. Stupid, right, no. non-fun. Okay. No, it's kind of following up on our, our last series that we just did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're talking about, uh, well, in this, the title is... You're a plumbing business CEO. Mm -hmm. Okay. So act like it. Act like That's it. That's what so, we need to add on right. there. <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna to talk about that. We're going to mm -hmm. run through, you know, you know we got to stop thinking like a plumber and start mm -hmm. thinking like a plumbing business owner. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so what does that mean to become yeah. a plumbing business owner? Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. get into it. Sure. Why not? All right. Mm -hmm. Well, first, all yes. right. What's one way they can do that? Dress like an owner. Ah. Dress like an owner. Mm -hmm. Okay. What does that mean? I have to put it like a, a suit and tie on. No. Uh, a three piece suit. Yes, yeah, right. A three piece the old suit. three piece suit mm -hmm. with the vest and all that. Yes. Okay. With no. A little pocket square. Right. <laughs> no, that's not that, that's not the, what what that means. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you definitely need to set yourself apart. Mm -hmm. All right, from being a plumber. Yes. Looking like a plumber. Mm -hmm. Okay. And being like the plumbers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. More than likely, again, if we're talking to plumbing business owners, you were a plumber somewhere else and decided to go and start your own plumbing business, right? And you're used to um, wearing a plumber uniform, which of course there's a plumbing uniform because you you get into dirty jobs and, and you've got to have something that um, you, you know, you're not necessarily don't care if you get dirty or whatever. So that's for a plumber and that's fine. But now that you're a plumbing business owner, you literally are the CEO of your own business. You need to step out of that role and step into the role of being um, a plumbing business owner. And that doesn't mean if you're still in the truck there, we get it. So you're going to have, when you're, when you're wearing the plumber hat, you've got your plumbing uniform on, right? But when you're in the business owner, we've got your business owner hat, when you're meeting with people or you're interviewing guys or you're in the office or whatever, that's when you need to dress like a business owner. All right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, not being, when, when you go to the bank or when you're doing, you know, business mm -hmm. type stuff or, mm -hmm. or, you know, we start getting involved and we'll, we'll talk about this into, you know, other like, you know, business groups and that kind of stuff. Right. You're not wearing your plumbing uniform. Right. Okay. Now we mentioned, as you mentioned, you know, if you may still be in the truck. A lot mm -hmm. of, you know, we start, we're still in the truck. Okay. Sure. And it's very vital that you, that your plumbing business, you know, your, your uniform is clean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and put together, okay, mm -hmm. that you do look at, you don't look like a butt crack plumber. Right. In fact, we even go as far as recommending that, uh, that even if you, especially if you have other guy, you may have another guy or whatever, mm -hmm. that your uniform is different. A little bit different. A little bit different, mm -hmm. right. Your shirt may be different, mm -hmm. okay. Yep. Uh, the hat, the, the company hat that you wear may be different. Mm -hmm. okay? Yes, it makes you stand out between, right. um, between you and the plumber. But certainly... You know, when you're meeting with suppliers and that kind of thing, you're not meeting in your plumbing uniform. No. Okay. Because it just lowers. It, it lowers um, your um, authority right. as being the owner of the business. Right. right? And, and, and it, it matters. Because right. you judge a book by? It's cover. It's so true. All right. Even mm -hmm. in some, you know, we talk about branding and all that. Mm -hmm. We think that, that they, you know, customers think that, you know, just because, you know, They'll judge us by a plumbing. They mm -hmm. don't. They judge us by our how we show up and yep. how what we look. And so I know it's not PC and it may not be fair. It doesn't matter. Don't matter. Okay. You're, there's no mm -hmm. safe place. Okay. <laughs> All right. Right. All right. So how do they dress? So to dress like an owner, um, a plumbing business owner. Again, you don't have to wear a three piece suit or a suit or whatever. Um, but get rid of the um, the dicky pants, right? right? Dump those, get rid of the, the work boots, like the muddy work boots. And I know some of you guys like to wear work boots as shoes and that's fine, but they ne need to not be plumber work boots. They get right. crap all over them or mud all over them or pipe dope all over or whatever, right? They need to be nice work boots that sets you apart from your plumbers. And then a nice shirt, something that's got your logo on it, polo shirt or whatever. Um, or even if it doesn't have your logo on it, just something that looks nice. That That's fine. It's like a business casual type of um, outfit that, that you would wear. Um, but yeah, if, if you do have a nice branded logo, get a jacket. Cause you know, if you live somewhere where winter sets in, you want to have something to wear, you know, I need to wear a coat. We of course in Florida, Florida don't have to wear a coat so much, but <laughs> no. if you're somewhere where the weather's awful and, and cold, you want to have a coat that has your logo on it, but not like the plumber. Yeah. Not, not the working coat, not the, Correct. the that you'll get for the plumbers that mm -hmm. they will wear, you know, for the winter. It's, Correct. you know, it's going to be some kind of stylish, you mm -hmm. know, 
something that sets you right. apart. Exactly. And it makes you feel that way. Um, you know, it makes it, it, um, clothes make the man, right? Right. Clothes make the man. It is a, it's a mind exactly. thing right. when you put that on and, and you're set apart from your role as a plumber, if you're still in the truck or, if, um, from you're set apart from your staff and you need to be set apart from your staff. This isn't one big happy family. We're all, you're all in this together and, and all that, that, that is not the case. No, they need not. a leader. They need a leader in their business and they feel so much more comfortable when you look different. Now they may razz you because they're, they're guys, you know, and they may, Oh, what are you uh, going out on a, to a prom or you know, whatever, whatever they're going to say, right? doesn't matter. They, they need and they want you to look like a leader because you're their leader, right? Right. So, you know, dress so, like so an owner. Dress, dress the part. In fact, we take it even as far, you know, in the academy, we, we, we talk about, <clears throat> about this, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, as you know, making the phone ring and often is vital to your home service business. That's why I'm a fan of Search Kings. Search Kings is a Google Premier partner and have helped my clients generate leads on Google Local Services and Google Ads. If you need your phone to ring, use Search Kings and tell them Richard sent you and you need the Million Dollar Plumber VIP treatment. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Search Kings and get on track to making your phone ring today. Having a ceremony. <laughs> so to get you to get you even mentally, you know, from leaving the truck and mm -hmm. to stop thinking like a plumber and to get you out of the truck, mm -hmm. actually have a, a, you know, a uniform burning, you know, your, your plumbing uniform burning ceremony, burning. actually burning, burning your uniforms. You're, you're pouring some kerosene or something. Now don't get into a big old whatever, yeah. but you're pouring something on it and you're lighting it and it's, and mm -hmm. make it a thing, not just, okay, well, this is the task I got to do. Make it a thing because it is ceremonial because it's, it's the mindset it has yes. nothing to do with the clothes. Right. It has nothing to do with the clothes that you're getting ready to burn and everything to do with the mindset that you're creating, right. that you are now a business owner. You're no longer a plumber. You're a business owner. That's right. You, you will you will not grow your business. You, you'll be forever. Even even if you do, you know, ninety five percent of all plumbing businesses fail within the first three years. Was well, you know, a guy said, "Well, I'm, I'm working. I'm not. You know, I'm past three years." Ninety seven percent of all the, the five percent that, that do make it are just are just surviving. Yep. Okay, so you'll spend the rest of your life just owning your job. Mm -hmm. That's not what we're talking about here. Right. Okay, and if you're thinking like a plumber and dressing like a plumber, you will never, you never grow your plumbing business nope. to where it becomes truly a, a, you know, a wealthy asset. Correct. Okay. Or achieve a freedom lifestyle. Get right. freedom at all. Right? You know? mm -hmm. So it is that. We, we got it. We got to get past that, you know, thinking like a plumber mindset. Mm -hmm. So you got to think like a plumbing business or be like a, you know, Business, business owner, owner. okay? Yep. And so, yeah, dress, dress the part, mm -hmm. um, drive the part, okay? If you're still in the truck, your truck is the best truck. You don't get, you know, all right? Yes, that's all right? so good. And it's clean mm -hmm. and, and you know, uniforms, I mean, nice, okay? Yes. All right? Mm -hmm. And once you're out of the truck you, and what, what you drive, it's go, go ahead and be showing up to the shop in a nice new pickup truck. And what, it, I, it's, it's important. It's got okay. logos on it. You know, right. it's, got all, it's all branded right. out. Now, obviously, you know, you're probably going to wait until you get three, three or four guys and cash flow is a little bit better or whatever, right? right? right. But you need, that's one way to make yourself feel like a plumber. We've talked to one um, who's, he, I forget how many um, plumbers that he had working for him. And he just felt guilty for, um, and he could afford it. He just felt guilty for getting a nice new truck. It was just guilt. Well, what are my guys going to think? Right. Or am I really worth it or whatever? Um, and boy, we're, we kind of laid into right. him on that one. Um, and it's because it's, it is a mindset change. So if you've got something that, you know, you're, you, you drive around in that's nice and you're showing up to business meetings or you're showing up to the office or whatever. And again, your guys are going to be, oh, well, you must be rolling in the bucks and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're going to hear, so, but, all, but really they're feeling secure. Correct. They want, mm -hmm. you know, I, I've used the example before. I want my doctor showing up in a Mercedes or something mm -hmm. that I feel like, you know, whatever. Right. Okay. If, if, if my doctor shows up in a Yugo Ooh. or, you know, a he's Chevy, not cutting a Chevy in on spec. Me. Yeah, he's you know, not cutting I, in on me. Right. I just, mm -hmm. I don't, okay. Um, you know, we may rouse him and think, well, it must be nice to be a doctor and make that kind of money and whatever. Mm -hmm. whatever. You're going to hear that, okay? Right. But, but there's still the security, mm -hmm. knowing that they're good. That's how your guys are looking at you as well. Exactly. Okay? Maybe they're going to rouse you, you know, rouse you and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. That's all right. But knowing that you have something nice like that, that means my job must be secure. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So okay. dress like an owner. Dress like an owner. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number two. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Think like an owner. <laughs> okay. We talked about, you know, even started, you know, the episode about this, you know, mm -hmm. you got to stop thinking like a plumber 
Mm-hmm. All right, and start thinking like a plumbing business owner. It's that stinking okay. thinking that gets you in trouble, right? Every single time. So what you know, what, some you know, what are some things? Some, they can some do? examples. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like your brand. Mm-hmm. Okay, is a place we kind of we t- touched on that. Mm-hmm. You know, call it. You know, Joe's. You know, Joe's great plumbing. Right. Okay. Or, you know, or my, my name. Last, my name's on it. Yeah. Right? Um. My my last name is Scapalelli. I don't know something that's yeah. almost impossible to pronounce, but, impossible to remember. But that's your you're you're proud. You're proud of the name that that does not resonate with your community, right? right? Mm-hmm. All right. So it's you know you were proud to put our name on it, but mm-hmm. that's thinking like a plumber. Thinking like a plumber. A plumbing business owner is thinking how how kind of brand is saying it looks like a franchise and. And like it's been around and it's bigger than what it, what it is and, mm-hmm. and that kind of a thing. It gives a security to right. the community, right? Yeah. That they see something um, like Attaboy Plumbing, something that um, represents more than just one guy's name. Right. Right. Because that's what it looks like. If you put the name on the side of your truck, it looks like, well, it's just, it's just him. So they're thinking cheap. They're right. definitely thinking cheap. Um, and they're thinking, you know, well, you know, this is just a guy that's, you know, driving around in his truck or whatever. It doesn't give them doesn't give the right customer security. Right. Mm-hmm. Or value. Or value. value That's right a there. better word. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then also it, it comes, you know, we start thinking, you know, like, a, you know, like a business owner mm-hmm. or, you know, a CEO. It, it's, it's important on the groups, you know, mm-hmm. that, that we're in. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, you know, I, you know, like these, these plumbing, be, be in a plumbing group, like, you know, um, you know, the plumbing business success group. So you're talking yeah. like online community, Facebook, online group. community, Facebook groups, okay. you know, that is, even though you may still be in the truck and you're plumbing, but to be part of like the plumbing hacks and all this other kind of crap, mm-hmm. okay, uh, they're all talking plumbing and plumbing crap, right? Okay, that's not that's not plumbing the, that, business. That's not going to help owner. you grow your plumbing business. Mm-hmm. Okay, you need to be around other business owners. So whether it's, it's you know um, you know the plumbing business success group mm-hmm. or even just another business, be in the business groups. They don't have to be plumbing. Don't have to be plumbing, mm-hmm. right? To be with other business people. Okay, Mm -hmm. Um, is extremely important. Yes. Okay, to help you start thinking, you know, like a plumber. Yeah, putting. I mean, not like a plumber, but a plumbing business owner. Plumbing business owner. Yeah, because being around other business owners, they they talk business things, and we've said it a million times. You started your plumbing business, more than likely, um, you were a great plumber, but know very little about how to be a business owner. So one of the best ways is be around other business owners. Again, doesn't matter if there's, you know, some local, um, you know, coffee shop and it's locally owned or whatever, hang out with them. Just talk business things. You'll you'll get nuggets. It doesn't matter that it's a different industry. You will get nuggets. There's always business groups in in communities. Just, there just is. If there's not, if you're a really small community, go and start one, go start one. And don't be intimidated guys. You think, well, I don't know this stuff. They don't know either. They don't know either. They don't know either. (laughs) And right. (laughs) And ultimately you always want to, you don't want to be the smartest guy in the room. Mm. Okay. Don't be afraid to to put yourself to put yourself in a in a room that's bigger than you, mm-hmm. in, in in how you're thinking and, and your knowledge. Okay. Just stretch yourself. That, that's that's how you grow. Yes. Okay. And that's how you will, will create this wealthy asset. Right. Okay. So you can either do that, like we're suggesting, or you can hang out with a bunch of plumbers who are talking plumbing crap, you know, the jobs that they were on or how, the, how you know, this customer screwed them or, you know, the, whatever, the, the city's getting um, all their permits and they're getting me down yeah. and blah, 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 right? You can do that or, and, and then do that a lot. <laughs> or you can yeah. hang around others who are trying to better themselves, to improve themselves, to learn about the business because it is a business. If you started a plumbing business, it is a business. You're no longer a plumber. It ain't about plumbing. It ain't about it plumbing. It ain't about plumbing. Mm-hmm. Which when we talked about what you hang, hang around and what you listen to as mm-hmm. well. You know, listen to podcasts. Yeah. Okay. So I got, well, you're here. This is good. Okay. You mm-hmm. listen to Potty Talk. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, um, you know, check, checking out our, our YouTube channel and that kind of stuff. There's all kinds of stuff because we're about the business of plumbing, right? right? Mm-hmm. But, but listen, you don't have to, again, you don't have to listen to about plumbing business, you know, plumbing business, mm-hmm. but anything that's about business and entrepreneurship yes. and, you mm-hmm. know, and that kind of a thing. Yeah. You know, there's, there's tons of, of them out there. Yes. Tons of them out there. Um, one, I think we have mentioned before and we get, you know, this is just a, a plug for them because we've listened to them for, for him, to him for years. Entrepreneurs on fire, E on fire. John Lee Dumas um, has a great podcast where he just interviews business owners from every industry and never fails whenever we listen to one of his episodes and he's got tons of them. Yep. You get You get a nugget or two. Again, just business related. So listen to those different podcasts. Gary V is kind of fun to, to follow. He's, he's more of a kind of in your face kind of guy, right? Um, uh, John Maxwell, leadership. That's a great leadership 
podcast. I think it's called, um, gosh, I think it is John Maxwell Leadership Podcast. Um, but that one's a great one to listen to. You know, Find Ed, something right, like Ed, Ed Milet. Milet. Yes. You know, all, all the old, you know, Ed Milet, mm-hmm. the Tony Robbins, you know, all that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. you know, is, is, is better for you to be listening to yes. than the sports channel, <sighs> okay, or, or, or whatever, or... Again, you know, being with the silly plumbing stuff. Right. Okay. I just right. I want to hit on the sports stuff because it's true. I, I get it. I understand sports. I, I yeah. do. I understand sports and the yeah. how it is in our society and all that. But it, is it really benefiting your life to sit and listen to the the on and on and on of the sports guys on ESPN radio or whatever it might be about all the stats and this guy and they're trading and blah, blah. What, what is that? What good is that doing your plumbing business? It right. doesn't put you in a mindset of moving your, your business forward, which then means moving your life and probably your family's life forward. You get guys and I get, I'll, I'll, I'll be the guy. I mean, maybe say you're taking it from a, you know, a woman saying, well, what does she know about sports or whatever? Mm-hmm. No, probably more than you, probably, which is true. Huge <laughs> basketball fan. Okay. <laughs> Um, but I'll, I'll say, I'll say it as well. You know, you, the sports is, isn't, you know, listening to that kind of stuff is, is not going to improve you. All right. It's, it's not going to, it's not going to feed you with what you need, need to, to learn mm-hmm. or know to be able to grow your, your plumbing business. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you know, put, put away the sports stuff yes. and mm-hmm. yeah, it's, Put away you know, the games. I, right. Put away the games. The game, you, the game, you, games are for boys. You got a business. Boys. You got a business right. to run, guys. And I know I'm kind of being a little bit hard here, but you've got a business to run. And if you've got a family to, to support, you went out on your own and that took a risk. I mean, you definitely took a risk and good for you. Um, but but now you've got a responsibility. You've got a responsibility to yourself and to your family. If you've got employees, to your employees as well, to grow your plumbing business, to make it secure, to make it to where your, your employees have secure jobs, to make it to where your family um, has the... the things that they need and maybe even, I don't know, some things that they want. Um, that's right. your responsibility since you're the one that went out and started. And that was the point. I kind of forgot my po- point. Oh. We went off on that tangent a little mm-hmm. bit here, but it's important guys, you know, it, all, all great. Anyone who's done anything great in anything doesn't listen to the news. Mm-hmm. All right. That doesn't listen to the sports stuff. Mm-hmm. Don't even the sport, even the guys who are in the sports and are, in, and are the news or mm-hmm. whatever. They don't follow the news. They don't listen to that kind of stuff. Right. The guys that are in the sports, they aren't following. They aren't listening to the sports comment. They're not mm-hmm. doing that kind no. of stuff. Why? <laughs> they're, they're improving their game. <laughs> they're right. Mm-hmm. Okay, they're up in their game. Right. The Which rest is their of business. us, the sheep. All mm-hmm. right. All they get caught up in that. So stop. Stop being yes. all caught up in all that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Mm-hmm. There we go. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, if you're with us here, I have something for you. Check it out. Hey, plumbing pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. My gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plumb like a champion. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Okay. We are talking about how I'm your, you are a plumbing business CEO. So start um, thinking, dress and thinking. And we've got one more point, yep. like a plumbing business owner. But in the meantime, please give us a like and follow. If you're watching us on, on YouTube, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you're listening on your favorite podcast player. Um, go out and give us a review. You guys, you guys know what reviews are all about. It helps us get the word out and, and all those things. So if you love us, please go out and give us a review. If you hate us, just don't. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, don't be a hater. <laughs> all right. Share the love. Okay. <laughs> Only love. All right. All right. So we were talking dressing like an owner. We were talking thinking like an owner. And, and then finally, mm-hmm. act like an owner. Act like an owner. Act like an owner. Act like it, would you? Okay, pull your head out of the toilet. <laughs> start acting like a like an owner. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm proud. I'm a fixed toilet. I'm proud. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of it. Okay, right. we're going mm-hmm. with that. But but um, <laughs> you need, need to start acting like an owner because mm-hmm. what what I hear um, is well, I'm proud. You know, I'm one of the. You know, it's like it's like a brotherhood, and you know, with the guys, and we work. You know, we're plumbers, and we work in the well. Yeah, yeah, you are. And it is a brotherhood. You know, that's why I call everyone brothers. So well, I call the plumbing business owners brothers, mm-hmm. you know, but it is a brotherhood. Okay. Mm-hmm. But it's, but you're not one of the guys any longer. Okay. Right. And you're, you chose that. Right. You're not one of the guys. You got to mm-hmm. stop acting like you're one of the guys. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. They, they are, they are the plumbers. They're your employees. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And you're the boss. Okay. You signed the front of the check. Right. They signed the back. 
That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, and, and again, like we said earlier, they will feel way more secure if you start acting like an owner. If you're out, you know, jawing with them out in the parking lot and you're hanging out with them and, and going, you know, out for beers, beers or yeah. beer, yeah. Any beers, right? Beer, <laughs> you know, for drinks. That's what I meant right. to say. For drinks or whatever after work, man, they don't respect you. They do they trust me on that. And we've seen it time and time and time again. And we've, we've counseled many people to not do that. And a few of them didn't listen. And it came back to bite them huge. It'll, it'll, bite, it'll bite you every time. Okay. Every, every time. Because they're not looking, they are not, aren't looking for a buddy. No. Okay. They're looking for, they can go get a buddy right. somewhere else. You are their leader. Right. You're the one that they're looking and you to And you say, to well, this is, this is Joe. I mean, we, we've been friends since, you know, we were in high school and now we're, you know, and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Joe's still looking for a leader. Right. He's still looking for someone to lead. The the right. owner of his business, the person that signs the front of his paycheck, he's he's wanting to make sure that he's it's secure. So if you're out there getting drunk with them or even drinking and hanging out, um, that it lowers um, you in their eyes. Yes. And and lowers the security that they have. Right. You're not you're not their buddy. Mm-mm. Okay. So what that looks like is you know we talk about having team meetings and you know that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. You know and you know when you come into the into the meeting. You know, you're not sitting down with the guys, mm-hmm. you know, like, like in our, our break room, mm-hmm. you know, which was the nicest, we did it not, you know, did it nice. It was as nice as room, the room in the shop, the tech cave or uh-huh. whatever. Okay. Cause we we're pulling the guys up, but, but it was, yes, it was mine. I own, it was mine, mm-hmm. but it was their environment. Right. So when I came into that, their, you provided. I, uh, that I provided that mm-hmm. I came, came in that, that environment to speak to them, whether it was mm-hmm. a meeting or whatever case, mm-hmm. I didn't sit down with them and hang out with them. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, in 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 you know, be part, be part of them. You, right. got, you have to separate yourself from you them. You do. Yep. Okay. Um, I didn't play games. You know, we had, oh. it was downtime. I didn't play games with them. Right. Okay. I didn't, you know, mm-hmm. you, know, you, you, you do know. have to separate yourself. What are you talking about with the uh, litter, like uh, pups and litter, right? Yeah. It's, you know, you, you may have come, you may hire, that's kind of when we start out a lot of times we hire guys that we used to work with. Mm-hmm. Okay. They don't look at you. You can't, you can't be one of the, the, the puppies. Okay. Mm-hmm. If they see you as one of the, yeah, one of the litter. Okay. They will not respect you. In fact, they'll wind up turning on you. Mm-hmm. And you know, as soon as they bite you, you'll never get that respect back. Right. Okay? Yeah. Because um, again, they just, they're wanting someone to lead them just right. like, you know, with, with dogs, right. On right. a litter, there's, there's always, there's always an alpha, right? Somebody's going to be an alpha. So, so if you, if you want, now I'm not saying not be friendly or not course. have a sense of family and that of kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But, but even, you know, in a, in a, a tradition, I'm not going to say traditional, in a, in a, um, a family that is healthy, the father is, is respected mm-hmm. and is the leader. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not, you're not your children's buddy or friend. <laughs> okay. Our society is breaking that up to mm-hmm. break up the family. Okay. Mm-hmm. But in a healthy family, the father is, is the leader. Mm-hmm. And is, is respected by the children. Okay, mm-hmm. the same goes with, with your plumbing business. Your guys. Okay, you're you're not their brother. Okay, you're not their buddy. Mm-hmm. All right, we're not in all this in this all together. <laughs> okay, all right, you're their, their you're their leader. Mm-hmm. Okay, yep. And so you know if you if you want to be part of a pack, stop the your business. Mm-hmm. Okay, and go go be part of the plumbing pack because yeah, you'll you, fail. You're right. Your business will fail. Will fail. Mm-hmm. But now you you got to you got to develop another pack. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. And, you know to be with others, and that's and we call it soaring with eagles. Soar with eagles. You got to be with other businessmen mm-hmm. and other business leaders. Mm-hmm. Okay. In your right. community. That's that's the pack that, that now you become part of. Right. Okay. Or online. In your community right. or online. And then I know we touched on it earlier, but finding seeking those people out, seeking them out. Um, the best place is in your community. Find, like we said earlier, finding some other business owners um, that meet regularly, you know, a couple times a month or whatever. Just and it, it's not like you're having earth shattering um, presentations done every time, and you're walking away with this wealth of information or whatever. That that typically doesn't happen. It's just you're around um, those other t- those type of people. Also, conferences. Find some conferences that are about leadership. Doesn't have to be plumbing related. Actually, it'd probably be better if it's not. Right. Um, go to conferences that um, Tony Robbins always has a great one. That's probably the ultimate. What is it? Um, Unleash the power within, right? I mean, that's right. that's a big one. Um, but find different conferences that talk about and and promote leadership. Go and it doesn't have to be in your community. Go somewhere. Get on a plane. Wear your your you know business casual clothes. Go to some of these things. Introduce yourself to people. Walk up to people. Put yourself out there. Um, and if they ask, oh, you know, what do you do? Well, I'm I own my own plumbing business. Don't say, well, I'm a plumber. I'm a plumber, Thank or 
or yes. the, you know, I own my own plumbing business, but it's just me and another and a helper and let them really try. And no, no, guys, you took a risk. You started a plumbing company. You've got a dream for it to, to be something, um, not only for your family, but for your community and for your employees. Have pride in that. So when you go to these types of places, places you are a plumbing business CEO. And I don't care if you only have one employee. You're a plumbing business CEO. That has to be the mindset. Get on a plane, go somewhere. Stay in a decent hotel. Don't stay at the, the local you know, Motel 6 where you know, you've know got gunfire and stuff going on, on the outside. Go somewhere where you feel like a plumbing business owner. Right. There you go. There we go. I know. Man, you were on it there, baby. I believe okay. in it. I believe, it. guys. I believe okay. in, in you guys. Yes, to because do we, this. we see it. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, in the Success Academy, we, we, you know, we we teach everything you need to know about uh, you know growing, managing, you know, scaling, mm -hmm. and, and you know, eventually to you know, sell, you know, your your plumbing business. Okay, mm -hmm. but that knowing those things is is twenty percent of it. Mm -hmm. Eighty percent so of true. your success goes on up here. Yep. And so yep. a very important part of it is elevating yourself from thinking like a plumber and I'm a plumber mm -hmm. and looking at your, your business like a plumber, which you, you can't, you won't succeed that way mm -hmm. to thinking like a business owner yep. and thinking of yourself as a business owner mm -hmm. or as a CEO, mm -hmm. which is what you are and is what your business needs and it's what your guys need and, and what your community needs and what your customers need. And what your okay. family needs. Yes. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we Love go. Love that. So start right. thinking like a plumbing business owner, owner, no longer a plumber. Love that, babe. Okay. Okay. Hey, if you want to know more about that and learn about that, you know, um, let's have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. Okay. And you can schedule, schedule a call with a success coach and uh, there's no push or anything. We just have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Okay. okay. Good stuff here. All right. All right. Hey, before I let you go, as always, you know it's coming. <laughs> I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created because you were, mm -hmm. that you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Hi, everybody.